So this is my setup to try to attempt the uh, the Q scratch on the Terminal Mix 8 from, from Reloop. I already uh, loaded up the scratch sound, so I'm going to do the, the regular Q. You place the scratch sound up here, yeah. And then um, I created a toggle for my function, so I can toggle a ver uh, parameter, a variable. Q scraps on and off, Q scraps on and off, and then I've recreated, remapped the controller a little bit. So I'm going to the controller and going to to Q. Basically done what it already did. Oops, sorry. Already did. Uh, and then if the scratch is on, it also go uh, does a uh, go to Q to make sure it goes back to uh, the actual Q to be ready to play it instead of setting a new Q when the feature is on. And then the jack wheel side of things. And the scratch one like that. Again, I'm basically duplicating whatever it does, but on the downbeat, uh, when I touch it first, touch it, it uh, goes, uh, it does also goes, uh, go to Q, so it always starts from the beginning of my scratch sound. So that means, let's shut this off. As long as it's not toggled on, I can scratch and move around at less normal, and Q will of course act as normal and send a new Q button if needed. But when I, I toggle it on, if I keep my camera up here, uh, and I does my scratching, it always starts from being after the scratch every time I touch it again. So that's the way I can make the stab. And the same goes for the Q, which is otherwise just a regular Q hold. So combining it, it goes something like this. I forgot to mention that I keep a finger on the side of the jog wheel when I do the steps. That's just because this particular jog wheel on this re on this redo, you can't adjust the torque. You can't adjust how it does, so it's a little loose, so it goes a long way if I don't do that. So that's a little trick, just touching it uh, with a finger so that the steps become more step-like. <laughs> 